Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I started us at this screen because I wanted to remember the pain that I felt upon losing that last run. We're starting another Eden run, Cricket's Body, Butterbean, G97MTJB3. I'm happy that so many of you enjoy watching my descent into madness because it is... We're like, we're slumping. We're slumping pretty hard. It's not the hardest we've ever slumped in Isaac, but it's, it's starting to get there, honestly. We're not like exceptionally far away from the worst I've ever done. Um, it's not even really shit Eden starts. It's my... It's poor play combined with my tendency to, you know, roll both dice and be like, ah, whatever happens, happens. And sometimes, you know, whatever happens has not been good for us here. Does Gigafart... This is a sentence I don't enjoy saying, but... Does Gigafart give us a bomb? Oh, it destroyed everything but the Tinted Rock. Thank you for answering my question. Here's another question. Can you go fuck yourself now? Our damage is actually, like, okay. That one just didn't create any any explosion. Okay. What a time to be alive. Let's not get too salty, though. I mean, we started with 3 HP. Cricket's body is an awesome item. Our damage stat is fine. And uh, we've replaced our awful spacebar item with one that is slightly less awful. Tomo! Come here, buddy. I need you to be my good luck charm. I should have put this closer to the pot, but we actually got it regardless. So one bomb gives us uh, six cents, takes us up to eight, allows us to buy a spirit heart from the uh, shop if necessary, if there is one for sale at that point. Um, we also did just get an extra bomb back, which is good. Please. I mean, we have had like, a, the, the run two runs ago was absurdly easy. And I had a great time on it, and I thought this would be the start of something big, but instead it was absolute, you know, just, it, it lulled me into a false sense of security. We're on like a minus one streak or something, which is embarrassing, man. There's no reason for us to be eating shit that badly. We should at least be eating like some Michelin-starred shit. If I'm gonna be eating shit, I want that shit to be prepared in an open kitchen right in front of me. I want to be able to read on the menu where the shit came from, what kind of person they were that defecated this particular shit, the region they lived in, how they've lived their life, uh, you know, their diet, etc., etc. I don't want to just be eating some, you know, and unethical shit. I want some free-range shit prepared by the finest... I want a, a shit sommelier that can give me the perfect uh, Dionysian diarrhea that pairs with that shit. I am, I'm going completely off the deep end here. We have found our secret room. I'm gonna try... I, I, I don't understand. That's okay. I don't need to understand, but I really thought that that would blow a hole in the wall. We need the spike to hit it, but I don't know how to aim the spike, so... You know, is your mileage may vary, I suppose. Let's come down here. It's good. It's good right now, by the way. The squeezy pickup is awesome. I love that we have a, an arcade. I am hoping that this arcade is nice enough to us that it will give us uh, a blood bank instead of a key beggar and a bed, but I'm not getting my hopes up. Holy shit! The Lord has come. And all his subjects. Something. It is a Christmas carol. Kate and I, this is going to sound like a manufactured story now, but Kate and I were at the grocery store today. Whoa, hold up. I don't buy it. No. Kate and I were at the grocery store today. There was a man in the lobby of the grocery store playing a saxophone, and he was playing Christmas songs. It's like m the end of May for, uh, for reference here. So, I mean, I... He was good. I'm not gonna say he's like a shitty player or anything like that, but it was very confusing that this dude's playing Christmas carols down there. I also do take it as a slight affront. We're obviously gonna buy chaos here. We probably should have waited till after the deal with the devil, but let's do it regardless. Um, I do take it as as a little offensive. Not like you know he should be put in prison or anything like that. But I'm like, look, dog. Every year, at the like the end of October until December 25th, we hear the same fucking Christmas carols. The most recent edition of the Christmas Carol Ovra, Ovra, sorry, is Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas Is You. The song came out like 1994. Every 25 years, there's one Christmas song that gets added to the, the rotation that gets played at stores. So, you know, we're hearing the same songs. Average, you know, North American lifespan, somewhere in the 80 range. I'm gonna hear these songs like 4,000 times. Do we really have to hear them in May as well? 
I'm just, like, begging you. Can you play, like, some Mission of Burma or something like that? That's when I reach for my revolver. California Uberalis by the Dead Kennedys or something. Just, like, amp it up a little bit. Have mercy. So we're going to take uh, Butt Bombs, even though I don't think Butt Bombs are amazing here. Uh, we get Deal with the Devil Precedent, at least. It's basically like getting another item room that's optional. We also got uh, Torn Photo. And Torn Photo is going to be real nice. As you can see, our rate of fire is fantastic. We're not really getting many... Uh, well, actually, we are. We're getting a lot of Cricket's Body uh, tiers. They're just hard to see because they're so small. But this run is very good so far. And I, I mean very good with, you know, a, an exclamation point at the end. You know, like we're playing Dark Souls and we just got the talking nut. Very good. So, we're going to... We're going to be real happy with where we're at right now. That was an awesome bomb. I forgot we also had uh, the weird-ass scatter bombs. Wow, that sucks. Not doing quite as much damage as I thought, I guess. Um, the scatter bombs, not scatter bombs, but sticky bombs that create spiders out of them. I'm hoping that these all synergize with Giga Fart here, but I'm imagining that they don't, or at least don't in the way that I would like them to, but I could be wrong about that. Let's try throwing in a bomb here. We got, we got enough. We killed that enemy before he could let us spawn spiders out of him. But sure, you know, this is a classic Binding of Isaac archetype. If you just want to give me all the bomb synergies on planet Earth, then I'll be, I'll be fine with that. I will be unbothered. Sweet. Didn't even get the glitch where it looks like we're, uh... Oh my god, I did it again. Gotta stop shooting when I place that bomb. Didn't even get the glitch where it looked like the spikes were gonna come back and hurt me, but actually did not exist, which is nice. Secret room contains... Five, that's good. I am happy that I got to at least work the term shit sommelier into this video. I'm probably pronouncing it in a way that makes, uh... You know, francophone speakers, uh, or I guess native French speakers, uh, feel like I don't know what I'm talking about. That's true. I have, you know, a very Anglophone accent when I speak with the limited amount of French that I have. But a sommelier, of course, is someone who uh, is paid to recommend wines to you. I think we'll just take virus here in a restaurant. So a shit sommelier would recommend diarrhea to you. Wow, Chaos has worked out really nicely there. We got Sister Maggie and the Relic for the cost of a single bomb. This is a dream come true. And it means that perhaps with one spirit heart every four rooms, no matter how poorly I play, we've at least got a chance. All we need now is soy milk to show up one more time. I almost, I almost want soy milk to show up just to prove to myself that we can fucking do it, okay? Just to prove to myself that we have the... We got the gumption to win our soy milk runs. I would really love to see... Like, the tears up is fine. The tears ups we've had are fine, I should say. But I'd really like to see more damage. We're kind of... As you can see... It takes 80 shots to kill one of these fuckers. They've got no HP. So it's a little embarrassing. Credit card. Uh, this is good, especially for a deal with the devil. Because now we can actually just get the items for free... That, to be honest with you, might not be worth paying for to begin with because of, you know, chaos. Normally, you're going to get items that maybe you're actually fond of. But um, with chaos, that's no longer a guarantee. Or no longer even weighted towards that. You might walk in there and get, you know, mom's heels or something. And that happens on the regular. But that's what makes chaos such a fun item is that you could also walk in there and be like, Oh, a deal with the devil for uh, holy mantle, you know. That, that kind of stuff works out in your favor. I would really like Bob's brain here, actually. Uh, I would absolutely love Bomber Boy. So we are going to use as many bombs as is necessary to get Bomber Boy going here. Bomber Boy, scatter, not scatter bombs, sticky bombs. Th these are good stuff. We got, even got a black heart out of that guy there. So I'm very sorry to our donation machine. You knew what you were getting into when you signed me up for this chaos run, man. Now, one bomb at this point is going to give us, like, all the money we need to get the, uh, Mr. Dolly, for sure. Just because of the way that, uh, the Bomber Boy bombs tend to work. Mm, Bobby Boy, with <laughs> Bomber Boy bombs. Are the bomber bombs from the top of the hill. Da 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 da. The bomber bomb. <laughs> The Bomber Boy Bombs are the Bomber Boy Bombs that you will... Ba -ba -ba -da. This is, yeah, I mean, of course, it's Brother Man Bill. It's an internet staple at this point. 
Yes, I will take Guppy's Paw. Thank you. You know what? We're going to go ape shit with Guppy's Paw. But I'm not going to keep it. Not because it's not better than Gigafart, but because we never use Gigafart. So let's mix it up a little bit. Obviously, we got to check on these. Great start. <laughs> I actually... It passed through my conscious brain. It was like, should we maybe not stand there? My conscious brain said, don't worry about it, bro. What are you... Fucking prude, just stand there. If you get blown up, you get blown up. It doesn't matter. Toothpicks, by the way. Uh, again, good item. Probably even a little bit better than good, but I am a little sore about the fact that I can't seem to get a damage upgrade for the life of me. The tears upgrades are great, don't get me wrong, but I'd really like to maybe pick up like a little bit, you know, the tears are good, but like, it, yeah, I know we could fire fast, but it'd be sweet if we could also like hit enemies on the regular if possible and kill them in one or two hits instead of you know eight or nine at least thanks to our uh, extra shot speed we're getting a lot more distance out of each uh, cricket's body shot which at least gives us the potential to have that do some more damage to enemies that are not immediately next to the the previous enemy that got hit I still have no idea how Giga Fire works like sometimes it makes the gate uh, spikes sometimes it doesn't I wish it did all the time, because then it would be better than just having Bob's Rotten Head that you have to get close to an enemy to use, or semi-close to an enemy to use. I think it has a larger area of effect than Bob's Rotten Head, at least, but... You know what? I don't even know if we need more damage. We can just craft our own soy milk run here if we desire. Um, just just give me, like, the Cancer Trinket or something, and then, then we're rolling. We could just go fight Mega Satan. Or go fight uh, the lamb right now, I suppose, if we wanted to. I guess that's the thing with um, Giga Fart, is it freezes enemies in place. la the freaking da Doesn't matter much. Uh, we're doing As long as we're doing enough damage to take these guys out without it being, you know, absolutely horrible. I guess we've got to be relatively pleased with ourselves. Come on, deal with the devil that somehow has guppy items in it, despite the fact that with chaos, it's not guaranteed to have our best guppy chance. Could still happen. And with credit card, we could make it work for us, man. One bomber boy bomb would be, be worth a lot right here. I'll tell you that much. He'd be dead. He'd be dead. Come on. Guppy's head. Guppy's head. Guppy's anything, but preferably Guppy's head, I suppose. Mr. Boom. We have to go, Mr. Boom. Now we need to go to our shop and see if we can get a 9-volt. Because being able to use a Mr. Boom butt bomb... Bomber bomb, bomber boy bomb, spider bomb, spider bomb. Of course, the best Slint album. Creeping off into the bomb. You should. I mean, if you haven't listened to Spiderland, you should listen to Spiderland. It's a great album. Um, I'm actually gonna. We have the relic. So what I'm doing here is not just like slow suicide. I'm thinking you got a good chance to pay out with something I might be interested in. Look at that, homing bombs. That's, I mean, I gotta be honest with you, it's getting a little silly, but when it gets the job done, it gets the job done. Tears up. Again, no damage, but the tears can't be stopped. Oh, that was super not worth it. I don't really, I mean, we probably should spend a bomb to get the money, now that I think about it. Greed? After all that, you're gonna give me a greed fight? Don't you know that I'm on a new level? We won't start that again, don't worry. I guess we already did, but... Okay, we're on 1240 on the Caves 2. This is in line with Boss Rush. Not that Boss Rush is the be-all, end-all on a, on a Chaos run. I don't care about the poop. I don't care about the money. I really feel like the bombs are extremely valuable for us. If we can use a bomb, then use Mr. Boom. Use a bomb, then use Mr. Boom. Life is but a dream, right? There used to be a graying tower alone by the sea. You became the light on the dark side of me. Love remains the drug. Uh, that's the high, but not the peel. But did you know uh, that when it snows... My eyes become wide, and the light that you shine can be seen. Seal, what the fuck are you talking about? Nothing in this. Like, I like the song analysis whenever possible. You've given me nothing to work on there. 
When the light hits the bloom, the sun shines the gloom on the gray. What are you? This is like, it's it's lyrical spaghetti seal. Could you be more specific? I mean, I'm not denying it's a great song from, of course, the best Batman film, Batman Forever, starring Canadian thespian extraordinaire James Carey and also Tommy Lee Jones. This is, I mean, this is why sometimes I just say whatever random shit comes out of my mouth, because it sometimes leads to great stories. I saw a tweet, now this may not be true, but you can look it up for yourself and determine whether or not it is. Um, I just can't do it because I'm in the middle of trying to be entertaining for the first time in my life right now. Um, apparently, in an interview, Jim Carrey revealed that Tommy Lee Jones actually, like, fucking hates him. And when they worked together on the set of, uh, Batman Forever, where, of course, Jim Carrey played the Riddler, and then, uh, Tommy Lee Jones played, uh, Two-Face, Jim Carrey went up to him and was like, hey, man, like, I just want you to know I'm a big fan of your work, and then Tommy Lee Jones was, like, visibly shaking with rage, and was like, I just want you to know that I deplore you, and I cannot abide your antics, which is a fantastic story. It, it maybe paints Tommy Lee Jones in a slightly unfavorable light, in the sense that um, makes it sound like, in the parlance of our times, the dude has no fucking chill. Plus, can we just talk about the fact that, you know, Tommy Lee Jones, in 2005, you made that movie, oh, is it called Man of the House? Where Tommy Lee Jones plays an FBI agent that goes, like, he makes cheerleaders go undercover to stop a conspiracy to blow up, like, a Texas football stadium or something. So, like, it, it, spare me, Tommy Lee. It's not like you've, uh exclusively done fantastic films in your whole life. You know, I like The Fugitive as much as the next guy. Men in Black films, you know, they got a lot going for them as well. But come on now. You, you could show some respect to Jim Carrey. I mean, they, the Truman Show's better than anything you've ever done, you son of a bitch. But anyway, mostly I, it paints such a clearly defined picture of Tommy Lee Jones as a person that I can't even read that story and have secondhand hate for him. It's just so good. You have to respect a man that sticks to his principles to the point where... You know, he's not, let's say Bombag for sure. It's not like he's talking shit about Jim Carrey, and then when Jim Carrey shows up, he's like, oh, hey, dude, I loved you in Ace Ventura. This dude's talking shit about Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey shows up, he says, I cannot abide by your antics. Like, this is how they used to settle it back in the old days of the 90s, man. You talking shit about somebody, you keep talking shit to their face. I mean, it's not like they had a... Alexander Hamilton versus Aaron Burr-esque duel or anything like that, but still. Nowadays, there's, uh, you know, news stories. Oh, ooh, censor. Oh, uh, Kendall Jenner unfollowed Kourtney Kardashian on Twitter, and you're like, I want to blow the world up with the large magnifying glass reflecting the sun's rays down to a single point to destroy it all together today but uh back then i love i love the idea of jim carrey who has some controversial opinions in his own right i think it's fair to say um being like affable walking up to tommy lee jones hey we're gonna be working together i'm a big fan of your work and tommy lee jones basically telling them to fuck off I'm not, ooh, ooh, eh, ooh, eh, da, 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 da. okay, I'm gonna take Chaos card instead of Credit card. It, there's, I, it, it's a little, like, masturbatory to say it like this, but there's such a clear sense of their personalities in that story. It's like the, the most beautiful story ever told. For sale, Tommy Lee Jones never worn. Anyway, um... Look it up. It may not be true. Even if it's not true, it's a great work of fiction. One of society's finest, I'd say. What's the point of this chaos card? The point of the chaos card is to uh, kill Hush in one hit, basically. That's that's my idea with it, anyway. Come on, dog. We may not get to do boss rush. If we do, beautiful. If we don't, oh come on! I was standing off to the side. Uh, if we do, awesome. If we don't, whatever. But uh, there may be a, a genuine chance for us to do this hush fight, and I would, uh, I would like to walk into it, destroy hush, and then pick up all the items that we, you know, so deserve. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think we're getting some excellent bonuses because uh, you know what? I'm just gonna open this and take the damage because bomber boy technically counts as uh, multiple bombs when it goes off. 
So I actually think that when we get a shot off with um, Bomber Boy, it's using butt bombs like three or four times in quick succession. Which is what's actually killing these rooms so quickly. I don't think Old Bandage is worth it right now. I don't think Telepathy for Dummies is worth it right now. Sorry to be controversial. I don't think that HP is worth it right now. I don't think my shadow's worth it. I don't think Magic 8 Ball's worth it. I will take a 1-up. You know, I'm a little salty. It could have been better, but that's alright. Now, we for once have no bombs, but that'll change. Bomb bag pretty much guarantees us that we'll be we'll be hooked up there sooner rather than later. And there's two right there. I know we left behind a, a, a Demon Hearts at some point in this vicinity. It is now rotated to a place that I cannot find. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna check this, and you know what? A map is worth it. That's a lot of money. We've been very rude to our donation machine, though. Um, I'm going to go fight the boss. We will probably qualify for boss rush. If there's something great, I'll go for it. If there ain't, there ain't. That's fine. By the way, Whipworm that we picked up trinket-wise, totally good. A pretty solid situation for us to be in. Uh, because it actually makes uh, Cricket's head substantially more worthwhile. I don't think we're going to get through this unless we use our bomb. Lovely. That one worked. We've done it. Um, you go with deal with the devil or you go boss rush. I guess you go boss rush. Pandora's box, spider bomb, or um, the other... Pandora's box, box of spiders, wasn't it? I can't remember what the other one was at this point, but now I'm just, I'm, I'm all in a kerfuffle. Okay, we got the map. Where are we going? Oh my god, that's so far away. Holy shit. I think it's in the top right. I really, in all honesty, thought we'd be safe there. That's all right. We got the relic. I'm on a new relic. I for sure thought we were safe there as well. Um, I think we're almost approaching the point at which I can use our bombs for absolutely everything. And I'm I'm beyond thrilled to, to hear that. That's going to hurt. Yep. <laughs> okay, golden bombs definitely set us up then. Uh... Somebody set us up the golden bombs. <laughs> Nerd humor. Oh, none of my friends understand my references to Zero Wing. Please give me the relic again. I'm taking too much damage. We don't need to go in there. Okay. Don't lose this one for stupid reasons. We shouldn't have had to use a, a key to get in there. We could have just... Could have just not. We could have used our unlimited bombs instead. Like, we don't really need to be close to enemies at all here. Got a spirit heart. Do we want the eternal heart? I would say probably not. Try to maintain permanent Polaroid invincibility. We should get that key because we are intending to go to the hush fight. Oh, I didn't get hit. Oh, this is a dream come true. This run is starting to pop off. Great. Good damage. Yep. Nothing, nothing you can say about that one. Definitely solid damage. Can't complain. I don't give a shit about this curse room. I'm realizing. The only thing that matters is our HP and, and bomb economy. And as long as we can keep those going, we're in the we're in the money here. This is not even a room we had to go into. If I take damage, I'll be very disappointed. At least we got another quarter of a relic charge. I suppose. There's a spirit heart back there. Dude, this damage is actually getting disgusting. We have no reason to lose this one now. It's too good. And in fact, it's probably going to be absurdly fast as well. Now that hurts, but, you know, life goes on. Skolex is the only enemy that can counter us, apparently. Uh, I'll take the extra range plus shot speed. Might as well bounce these... Sh no, bouncing the shots off the wall is not working. You know what? We took some damage. That's fine. We're just going to come in here, drop a bomb. Can't believe that didn't finish the job, actually. That one will. 
did get a deal with the devil. Deal with the devil has given us red chests, which have given us deals with the devil, which have given us nothing. But a pretty fly is solid, and a power pill that we're not going to use because we need chaos. All right, this is a really good situation for us. We're going to open everything. We could get awesome pickups. We could get nothing, but we're probably not losing anything for coming down here anyway. So, boom, 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 boom. Number two is a, a synergy with what we have presently, so we might as well pick it up. And we did get a lot of extra money from Swallowed Penny, but apart from that, a little weak. I think we... Oh my god, a chemical peel? Is that what we want? Could have gone fanny pack. I'm taking a lot of damage. I think we take Gimpy, even though that we can get 10 extra bombs here. I think Gimpy's more valuable for us. Um, definitely Black Candle. Tell you what, take a Spirit Heart. Let's come in here. Don't whiff with the Chaos card. I really don't want to do this fight. <laughs> like, I want to I wanna be here, but I don't want to do this fight. Yeah, that was that was horrible. Number two is unlimited bombs at this point. So just use number two, I guess, and finish it up. We're going to get hit immediately. Yep, that was not very smart of me. Just WQ, man. WQ. Problem solved. Was it worth it? Eh, it wasn't not worth it. It's not like we got particularly screwed here. And honestly, with number two, we pretty much just have to figure out where the hell we're supposed to go. And then, um... Well, I mean, like, hold the button down until we finish the room, which is going to be real easy. Ideally, I'd like to poop my way through these open doors, if possible, as well. You're not dead to one number two shot? This is very surprising to me. Easy. We definitely do need this key. Yeah, once you... <laughs> I got in pretty tight there and then was like, there's no escape. Jumping is useless. I know Meatbot doesn't say that. I can't really do an er voice, I apologize. Er voice. Think I really feel it. East Coast. Oh, we didn't get the bonus there because... Or we didn't get the charge there because I just left. But I'd do it again if I had the choice. Err... I've been watching you from this song that I think is by Aaliyah, but I don't remember. Just hide, just hide. Oh, they almost got me. Okay, use a bomb. We have golden bombs, so why risk it? And look at that. We got a nice little second secret room in addition. Probably have to go back and do that room again because I'm an idiot, but we got nine lives. We're only one guppy item away. That shit could happen right now. It didn't, but it could have. Alright, so let's go do that room again. Again, golden bombs. I don't know why I thought I said golden balls there. My old high school nickname. Well, that's old golden balls. It's because I was a great golfer. Don't get a don't get a wrong idea or anything. Okay. Homing bombs, nice. Fruit salad, yum yum. Loving this gimpy action. It's hard to get these shots or these bombs where I need them to go. And where they won't also hit me. Well, that ended up being surprisingly worth it. It's alright. You get hit sometimes. You get knocked down. You get up again. Um, you're probably never going to keep me down. But I honestly can't stand by that fully. Because I don't know how this run's going to go yet. But... That's okay. I think we're going to be putting down a reasonably exciting win here, which does not annoy me. It's a start. Oh my god. Well, the syringe for sure. The Bible. Invincibility. Admittedly, really feel like you got to go remote detonator here, right? Because you can blow up the bombs whenever you please. Does it work with number two bombs? Yes, it does. I think we still go with this. There we go. We would just drop a number two. Wait till the enemy gets close enough for the homing bombs to kick in. And Bob's your uncle. We got a lot of good damage down there. And no, no time flat. Get some spiders out of it. Out of it if we actually kill them with it as well. That's great damage. Yeah, don't, don't dodge on my account. 
good. Thank you for the spirit heart. I feel like we should be able to beat Isaac with nine lives active. I may find myself surprised, though. Mystery sack. What a strange chaos run. We did get very close to Guppy, though. Excuse me. That was not good damage. Please, don't let yourself throw here. What we are going to do is just spit bombs ridiculously on the Isaac fight. That's what we're looking for. Lovely, okay. Not my finest performance, but certainly could be worse. If we surround him with bombs, there is a chance he'll never be able to get a shot out, but the odds of this are seeming quite bad right now. But once the bombs stick, they stick, man. Oh, they're not blocking shots anymore. Not gonna let me have my rubber cement fun? Or not rubber cement, what am I? Remote, remote detonator fun. I figured, let's not risk killing ourselves at the same time. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.